Hi everyone, it's Natasha. I thought I would share with you a little organizational project that I'm trying to tackle. I have a lot of uh, Sizzix dies, Sizzix and um, uh, the Red Star that are the teacher's version. And it's, it's just about time. I mean, I'm losing track of which drawer has which ones. And this is just one drawer that I've pulled out out of my Sterilite three door three drawer towers, which I uh, will include a link right here to its original kind of sneak peek when I got it a few years ago. It fits the Bigs dies perfectly, nicely stacked on end, so that none of the foam is getting squished in between or marred. So I figured since I'm doing this anyway, I might as well document the process for anyone who's interested. I'm pulling out each of the, like you see this one is, uh, this drawer in particular is Tim Holtz dies. I have a couple more that I need to add to it, figure out what to do with the on the edge, and then like the movers and shapers that have coordinating inserts. I'm just leaving the inserts right inside that die. That way they don't get misplaced and um, disappear somewhere else. The other movers and shapers, I'll include a link right here to show you how I store them on some Dollar Tree make, uh, trays, which is a great use. You know, a dollar storage is always great. So I'm going to periodic, you know, I'll show you kind of various th you know, ways I'm going to be organizing them. I think what I'm going to do is put shapes together and then holiday themes. Anything that would seem to go together, like I know which Tim Holtz dies I have, so it's easiest for me to keep them together. I know which of the dies from Sizzix are the um, all-star uh, from Ellison Education, so I keep those together. And um, then the rest I will organize by theme, you know, shapes, holidays, those kind of things. So stay tuned for the next segment. Oh, a uh, quick tip, while I'm doing this organization, I thought it would be also a good opportunity to clean up some of the dies. Like you see, I have some uh, chipboard stuck in there, so I'm just going to use a pick to pull that out so I have it all nice and clean and ready to go for the next time I pull out the die to use it. And it's always easiest to clean it up before putting it away. And as you can see, most of mine are cleaned up, but just I noticed a few have a little bits and pieces so that's what I'm going to do in the meantime as well. Touch it once, take care of a couple of issues at the same time. So this as you can see is a drawer full of the Ellison Education, Ellison All-Stars. It's the same company as Sizzix. It's their parent company but it's mostly um, geared to teachers so it has well, I can give you a quick sweep of what I have in here. Domino tiles, lamb, chicken, jar, um, I'll be using these for some holiday projects. Uh, the wreath and sled, gift tag and bow, uh, squares. This is perfect for Zentangle. It's the three inch square. Uh, Torah, which goes with my Hanukkah stuff. I have a menorah and menorah candles. Highly unusual, but I grabbed it when I saw them. And then a tooth and nest, baby nest, or baby and nest and grape clusters so and then I have a couple pardon my phone it's a telemarketer so I have a couple of dies that I have started pulling out that I'm gonna sell uh, vase and rabbit and then I also pulled out a couple of the on the edge Tim Holtz scallop and scroll work so scallop has two scallops and they're irregular they're not uh, equal and then this is the scroll work I don't think I've ever used a scroll work or the scallop one, so why are they just sitting here? So this will give me an opportunity to kind of go through things. And then while I was looking through here, there's one more. See, there's a space for one more die. And it's this one, which is glare, sorry, file folder. And this file folder size fits inside the personal file effects, which was a great find. I mean, I knew I had one. I think I have a couple of more. So as I go through, I might find these. And I might cut this out of some clear acetate that I have that I've upcycled from packaging material. 
so I can make myself some nice tags for my pocket file effects, which I use as my wallet right there. So there'll be more. Actually, I think I have a couple more I could fit in here. Um, I also fit them in this way. Um, extras that don't fit in. So let me see how many of this each drawer fits. I don't know if I've ever actually counted. So I know this could fit one more. So two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. And what did I say? Two more? So 20 per drawer. That's not too bad. This does get very heavy, so if you pull them out, please use both hands. Otherwise, you might lose a nail or drop this on your foot. <laughs> so let's see what the other drawers have to offer. So there's my highly coveted um, Jewish-themed dies. Menorah, dreidel, um, Torah menorah, <laughs> dreidel, and menorah candles. So... I have those. That's probably the most Jewish themed um, big brand products I've ever seen in one place. It's kind of unusual. Oh, we know these aren't for sale at Hobby Lobby. Oh, they great. So, um, and then I found a couple more. Acorn, Barn, and the little dog. And the little dog kind of looks like our Chihuahua, Mushka. So I'm going to put those in with the themed over here. I'm so glad I decided to do this. So this is the bottom drawer of the first three uh, drawer tower and as you can see I have more the overflow of the all-star from Alice Education flash card which is an ATC card uh, two and a half by three and a half um, mini pocket which I've used in my file faxes before some um, lily frog and nest and this one is really cool it's a fork knife and spoon my favorite cards, square card and envelope, which I have totally forgot about. Some of the thick cuts and go slim dies, which are, I don't even know, 2006, 2005 maybe. So as you can see, I'm going to thin stuff out, definitely. I already have a pile going of what I'm going to be selling off, like this Christmas tag. It has a tiny little Christmas tree at the top. I think I used it once, so... Definitely rather it goes to a household that will use it. So, And I'll probably do a separate video of all the dies that I'll have for sale. I'll post it and it'll be first come first serve. Fortunately, since these are heavy, I'll have to. Uh, I'll only be able to ship them in the U.S. So let's take a look and see what the next drawer has to offer. I'll go through these as well to see if there's any that I could let go of. This is another <laughs> hazard of not being organized, you will end up with two of the same thing. So I have exactly the same die, the film strip die, twice, so I'll definitely be selling one. Probably sell this one, which is, I don't even think it's been used a single time. So that goes into the pile. And I do use this, I mean, I do find that very useful. So I found some of my f forgotten favorites, the film strip die, the frames combo, the mini f um, folding file folder, file folder number three, and for, let me just move this out of the way, for the dies, the big dies that are smaller, there's also a little space on the side so you can fit two more on the side. So I have, I'll definitely pare down some of these because I definitely don't use slide mounts. Oh, these are different. See, like, all these little cool dies, totally forget about, like, these were, are great to be kept together. Slide mounts, film strip, the stamp frames, and the file folder. Sunflower number two. Probably forgot about these. Another frame. Oh, I do have this mint one. See, I totally forgot about that one, too. Because there's an avalanche. Sorry about that. So I have the all organized and I can put more. <laughs> so it must be at the front of the house. So I can put two more this way and it fits nicely snug across the top. 